Last year, when I built out my van, I didn't build much to fit the storage category. I made a small door under my bed, and that was only useful for shoes. And to get things under my couch, I just have to stuff them through the gap. After being sick of struggling with those issues, I decided to finally do something. I was first going to make a trap door to access under what used to be my couch, now my bookshelf. I'd cut out a square frame with a jigsaw and put some hinges on and call it done. So before the rain came, I emptied out my van. These baskets had been used in my house for as long as I can remember, and they were also sitting a few feet away from me, so I used them as a template for size. And I also cleaned up the right angles with a square. After drilling a hole to start cutting, my camera magically stopped recording, so you missed the footage of that. After a quick sand and vacuum, I was ready to put the hinges on. I also added a window lock, which I'll probably end up just replacing with the handle. Moving onto the bed, I was going to put the top platform on hinges to create access underneath. After unfastening the top, I realized I couldn't keep the hinges on the outside, or else the screws would go through the plywood and into the 2x4 frame. So I tacked the top back on with three screws and flipped it on its side to put hinges on the bottom which at that point, I thought was genius. I drilled holes through the top to accommodate the hinges and bought some nuts and bolts to hold the hinge on the plywood. I quickly learned that screwing the hinge on the inside wouldn't work. So I scooted the end of the plywood away from the 2x4 frame so I could screw the screws all the way through the plywood without interfering with the 2x4 frame. And I positioned the hinges on the outside into the next best thing. With the screws flush with the plywood, all I had to do was screw the other side of the hinges onto the frame. After everything moved in, I wanted to install these lights. I also had to balance a flashlight somewhere where I could cook, and I had to plug in my desk lamp to my inverter whenever I just wanted a light for my living room. It was always a pain and a waste of battery power. So I found these lights for 10 bucks, and I mounted one to my kitchen, and another to my bed. I just had two spares that I'm sure I'll use in the future. But with that, I was done. Thanks for watching.